Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Vibs from SlideNote here. Today, we are going to talk about interface-based inheritance and polymorphism in Java. If you haven't seen my previous video in the playlist about, inter about inheritance and polymorphism dynamic method dispatch, then please don't watch this video because you will not understand much out of this. So, let's get started. First step that we are going to talk about in this video is all about the theory behind interfaces and their polymorphism. In the next video, I'll be working out the different examples to show you how things look. So an interface is a reference type. You can write a method that can take a parameter which is of type interface and you can work things out inside the method using that parameter. Now let me show you exactly how that looks like. Here we have our public static void display method that takes this variable measurable figure. Now measurable here is not a class, it's an interface. Now at this point, if you're a beginner, like when I was back in the old days, you're definitely gonna ask me the question, what the hell man, you said interfaces do not have objects. So how am I supposed to call this display method from our main method? Well, that's the trick when it comes to polymorphism. You're gonna call this method display by passing an object that implements the measurable interface. In other words, if there is a class called rectangle that implements the measurable interface, you will create an object of rectangle and you will call display and pass rectangle inside that. And if you're wondering how this is gonna work, you're saying, okay, there's a measurable figure variable here and you're passing a rectangle object there. How is this possible? It is the same principle which I have already discussed in my playlist videos. A superclass reference variable can refer to a subclass object. This was the actual principle when I talked about this way back in my inter inheritance based polymorphism videos. Now here the things change very slightly. Here you have an interface reference variable that can actually point to an object that implements that interface. Now at this point there's definitely another confusion. There's get perimeter and get area. Now the first thing I need to tell you is that these two methods are defined by the interface and they are overridden by your class that is rectangle which implements that interface measurable over here so in other words if there were two classes one of them rectangle the other of them circle and both of them implement the measurable interface and then if you say get parameter depending on which object you're passing inside the display method the appropriate get parameter method will be called in other words if you call display, pass a rectangle object inside, the get parameter from the rectangle class, class will be called. And then if you pass circle here, then the get parameter from the circle class will be called over here. In other words, a variable's type determines what method names can be used, but the object, the actual variable contains, will determine what definition or what version of that method from which class will be used at runtime, which is also why this is polymorphism so let's go further and take a look at this the next thing that we need to discuss is interface based type casting again like i said this is all theory in this video in the next video i'll be working out the example so when you talk about conversion or type casting in java you can convert from a class type to an interface type now when you're converting normal numbers like converting a float to an integer you always were aware that there is going to be some data that is lost for example, when converting float to an int, the data after the dec decimal point is going to be lost, which is why you had to write the type cast over here. But when casting object types, there is an exception of a class cast exception that arises if you do something messy over here. Now again, I will show you exactly what this exception is, how it looks when it is arising and all that things in the next video when we work on an example of interface based type casting. But for now, just remember these things in your mind. So you can declare variables whose type is an interface. Of course, you cannot create an object because interface are not exactly classes, right? And of course, if an interface variable refers to an object, then that means the object must belong to some class that implements the interface, which we saw previously, where our measurable interface had a rectangle object being passed in. Now comes the true picture of polymorphism here when multiple classes implement the same interface each class can implement the methods of that interface in a different way right rectangle is going to have get area which is length into breadth circle is going to have get area which is pi r square i'm not good at maths but then i guess that's the right answer so 
how is the correct method executed when the interface method is invoked like here if you just remember in this slide here we had our parameter equals to figure dot get parameter exactly which get parameter is going to be called is it going to be from the rectangle is it going to be from the circle which we discussed over here so the java virtual machine is going to locate the correct method first by looking at the class of the actual object and then calling the method with a given name in the class now it says class of the actual object which means if you call display and if you pass a rectangle object then java virtual machine is going to call get parameter on that rectangle object over there so depending on the momentary contents of the interface variable jvm can invoke different methods over there just the true polymorphism discussion which we also did back in our inheritance interfaces and back our inheritance videos over there so of course the polymorphism discussion has been done before in my inheritance videos now in the next video is where the real stuff lies i'm going to take examples of all these things that i discussed and if at that point you get confused you can come back to this video and you can refer this again and things will be solid so if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide node and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a